This is a baboon. A very friendly baboon. Look at that, my friend. I was eating lunch with it, as you see it right there. Very beautiful. And these are beautiful waterfalls, just next to the baboons. Beautiful waterfalls. Look at that. Beautiful waterfalls. And they are just next to these baboons. Nature is very beautiful, my dear friends. Did you know that these natural resources, these baboons and these waterfalls are in this town, okay? Hii town yenye mnaona hapa, town yenye haina hata tarmac road, a town that is not making progress in terms of development despite being in a county that has witnessed massive development. My friend, welcome to Malava Sub County, Kakamega County and let's explore natural resources and reasons for underdevelopment in Malava town. For those who don't know the difference between Malava and Malaba, Malava is in Kakamega County and Malaba is in Busia County. So ukisikia Malava with a V, jua iko Kakamega na kuna forest. That is why we have the Malava Forest. That one you see there, okay? Na ukisikia Malaba, jua iko kwa border between Kenya and Uganda and we don't have Malaba Forest. So we have Malava in Kakamega County and Malaba at the border of Kenya and Uganda. Now, did you know that in Malava, baboons coexist peacefully with humans? Like this is a baboon in a forest and I'm here with it, okay? Now, look at how it is coming out of the forest with its family towards people. Na watu hawashtuki kabisa na wamekaa hapo, okay? Kumbuka Babu ni mbaya sana. Babu ni mbaya sana inakulanga hata mbwa. That thing is very dangerous. Lakini hapa zinaishi vizuri na watu. They exist peacefully here with the people. I was here during lunch time and I asked people what these baboons would like to eat and they told me that baboons can eat bananas. So, I went to purchase bananas. Nilinunua ndizi kutoka kwa huyu mama hapa. You look at those bananas. I bought them from that mama. Then I went to visit these baboons so we had lunch together look at that we giving them bananas and we are just enjoying the environment along the kakamega wibuye road what a great moment with the baboons kama zingekuwa zinaongea tungepiga story unfortunately has yongei you may be asking where is this beautiful place this is malaba forest a tropical rainforest that covers 10 hectares along kakamega wibuye road I met these beautiful ba baboons along the Kakamega Webuye Road. I interacted with the forest officers and they told me to go back and learn about other species of monkeys and baboons later. I was not allowed to enter the forest and film without the approval of the Kenya Forest Service. Once I get the approval and pay the required taxes, I will come back here to make a full film of these things. But for today, we will not do that. That is not the primary reason why I am here. I am here because about three Malava residents have watched my videos and told me that Oparanya neglected the northern side of Kakamega. By the way, these roads, these roads, this is zenye mnaona hapa that I've been showing you na kuambia vile Kakamega kume develop, this is southern Kakamega. Huko maendeleo inaonekana wazi, I come from there and development is evident, okay? In northern Kakamega, in northern Kakamega, by northern I mean this place is as a visu of the this northern side. We have the Cabras, we have the Tachoni, how watu watiriki wenye huko huko juu, development imekuwa shida kidogo. And this is an important discussion that we need to have, not just in Kakamega, but in the entire country, okay? You cannot imagine that I showed you this stage in Kakamega County, this one. This stage a very beautiful stage, okay? It is still under construction. Hiyo ni mpya kabisa. But in the same county, we have a major town called Malava struggling to have a good stage. Ona hiyo stage. Ona tu hiyo stage, my friend. His stage, by the way, wacha nikurudisha nyuma, unaingilia hapa kuingia hiyo stage, okay? Alafu ukisha ndio ushapita hapo, umeingia sasa ndio hiyo, ndio hiyo stage, my friend. This is a stage in Malava Town, Kakamega County. Not a mark na kuna mashimo ya maji hapa. What happened? Oparanya, what happened? In my opinion, it is simple. The governor did not focus on developing Malava and Northern Kakamega at large. I cannot say that Oparanya is a failure. No, 
Oparanya has demonstrated that he is a development oriented man but he could not do this he had limited time that is my opinion okay but we shall look at that as we move on with this video before we proceed let's understand who the Cabras people are why they live near the forest why their place has not been developed by the county and what can be done to salvage the situation Cabras our Cabarasi just like other Bantus originated from Congo you know way back before the 2000 BC the entire country this Kenya was a forest from Turkana down there it was a forest hakuna mtu alikuwa anaishi Kenya Uganda na Tanzania all this was a forest unaona hii forest hapa yes this forest here before 2000 BC the entire Kenya was like this all of us were in Congo huko tukitembea uchi and we were very few so when the population started increasing in Congo okay people had to move to find new places na hizo siku hakukuwa na stories za kugawiwa mashamba land was too big africa was too big for the people who were there there was no sense in fighting over land if you needed land as a young man who wanted to start a family you could simply clear the bush in this forest and trees and establish a homestead sasa kama mimi na bibi yangu na mtoto tungetaka shamba we could just come here we clear the trees and the bushes and we put a fence and we establish a homestead people started doing like that as they move as they moved from Congo and that is how the bantus moved slowly slowly from Congo towards Uganda towards East Africa and that is how we came to Kenya so that is how the Abakabarasi found themselves near the Malava forest but someone may ask how come Abakabarasi do not speak like other lawyers? Okay, if you are from another tribe, you may be wondering why I'm calling them Abakabarasi. That's how we lawyers call them. They are called the Cabras. So if you are a Kikuyu, you are a Luo, call them the Cabras. I am the only one and who is having the right to call them Abakabarasi, okay? So someone may ask, how did these Cabras people develop a different dialect from other lawyers? And how did we lawyers develop different dialects? Mpaka tukakuwa na kabila twingi twingi. During those ancient times, during those ancient times, lawyers had the same language. We had the same language, okay? I don't know which one was the oldest because some people say the Maragoli was the oldest, others are saying that the Bukusu was, was the oldest, but I know we had the same language according to the history, okay? That is how it was. So, when a man could become of age, he had to marry. And you could not marry from your people you had to marry from another place now if you marry a wife from a different place and you move to a new location you had to start communicating during that time we did not have english we did not have kiswahili so muluya for example angeo wa mnandi wangekutana na wanaanza ku struggle kuongea kusikizana and in that process that is how the dialects developed okay sasa wangeza mtoto mtoto ana adopt hiyo kuongea ya mama na baba and that is how the we started having different dialects tunakuwa na wakabras wa kisa wa marama wa wanga and that's how we started having different different dialects okay so the first kabras the person who started the kabras dialect originated from the avanyala sub tribe so the kabras ancestor was a child of omnyala the Avanyala, for those who don't know, Avanyala, Avanyala are a sub-tribe. So when he got married and he moved to towards this Cabras side, they started a different dialect. And that is how the, uh, the Cabras came to be called the Cabras, okay? They started changing the pronunciation and started inventing some new words. And that is how Olukabarasi came into being. And that is how the Avakabarasi found themselves at Malava. Now that ancestor used to give birth to many children who also used to clear this place and establish new homesteads so they were they used to clear this forest and have one establish new homes that was the norm so atutaongea sana fast forward in 1800s in 1800s kabaraz had not even cleared the bush here and this not just here even in nandi kakamega watu wakuwa miklia bush wote so in malava here pia hawakuwa mekilia bush a large part of the land was still a forest and people had started organizing themselves into clans remember we did not have kenya in 1800s okay we had one africa hata uganda na tanzania haikuwa and we had our own organized way of life with governments and leaders so in 1885 in 1885 when the colonialists arrived abakabarasi had not cleared the malava forest 
you know the british started having good policies and organized government so long time ago so they already understood the importance of conserving forests they reached in kenya in 1885 hata kabla hii iitwe kenya they reached here na wakatushika mateka and they started imposing their rules on us one of the rules that they imposed on us was not clearing the forest we had to avoid clearing the forest so wale watu walikuwa huko kakamega wakakatazwa msikilie hiyo forest au wenye walikuwa malava wakakatazwa msiendelee kukilia hii forest na watu wengine mpaka huko nandi wanandi wakaambiwa msikilie hii forest all malava people were told don't clear the forest and that is how the forest started being conserved okay so the forest has the malava forest has been conserved since that time to this time so you can be sure that ever since the world was created nobody has ever lived in this forest this forest only has snakes it has uh, several animals including the baboons and the monkeys so no human being has ever lived in this forest so avakabarasi now started surrounding the forest they sometimes encroach the forest but they started surrounding the forest What is the nature of these people called Abakabaras? Now let's now understand the Abakabaras, okay? What is the nature of the Kabras people? It is simple. The Kabras are usually laid back. For those people who know the Kabras by the way, the Kabras are not very violent people. The Kabras are laid back and they don't force things. They don't like agitating for issues. In fact, they did not have a powerful leader who could resist the British during that time in 1885. The Kabras they did not even have a leader. They were under Nabongo Mumia and that is how they started to collaborate with the British. They gave up their fertile lands around the uh, near the forest and lived under the masses of the colonizers until the colonizers left. So wakabarasi sio watu wa vita they are calm and reserved people hata nikisema kakamega kuna maendeleo wao hawana maendeleo lakini huwa wananyamaza they generally love peace and they are easy to let go look at that stage vile inakaa hii iko mahali tunasema governor amefanya maendeleo kakamega but hakuna maendeleo hapa totally no development here look at the road in malava that road is in malava where the cabras reside roads are in a pathetic state though not very pathetic okay the county government has tried to improve the market here tukikuja kwa market okay angalia hiyo market but this is not as vibrant as this one okay this look at this it's not as vibrant as this one okay he in a can kama watu walihama unaona unaona look at that hata kama iko na steps nzuri hapo ilijengwa vizuri this one was good the only thing that he forgot was to cover the the market the market looks good hii hata uwezi compare na kinabusia tuachane na hiyo uwezi compare hata na kule sijui si haya waachane na hiyo this is a good market but it was not done well like the one in Haega okay overall wacha tuseme maendeleo ni substandard huku and i really pity the cabras people for being quiet and patient for 10 years they are laid back they are easy to let go they never fight and they are very quiet people but again my question is this and this is why i don't blame oparanya deputy governor anatoka tu hapa hapa kwao okay remember the primary reason for having a representative in government is so that they can advocate for good policies that favor you and push for development agendas in your area The Cabras people had a powerful position in the Kakamega County government. In fact, I never saw the deputy governor having issues with the governor. They had a very healthy relationship throughout the 10 years and that means the deputy governor had a good chance to push for development in Malava, but he never did it. Reason? I don't know. I came here and I asked people and they don't know and that is why people here don't don't even like him. Yeye yeah, hata alifaa kukua governor baada ya oparanya but he cannot be because he came from this place and he could not advocate for development we don't know the reason why maybe he can explain so when the cabras people tell me here that they are not developed you are coming to complain to me when i say kakamega is developed you are complaining but when i come here and i notice that the deputy governor was here i'm also as confused as you So if you ask me that Oparanya did not develop this place and I ask you you had a deputy governor what did he do he did nothing and so what was his role hiyo hiyo ndio kitu inatushangaza but again it is not all that bad my people of Kabras if Oparanya did this in southern Kakamega if he did this he could also de- develop Malava 
he had already started putting a road here this is one of the road from ayoti contractors okay ayoti contractors okay na hapa ndio barabara i passed through this road na inaenda kwa village huko ndani malava okay hii hata uwezi compare na nandi county wachana na mambo ya nandi kabisa nandi wako na matope kwa njia this road goes to villages in malava inside here this is a county road being constructed by the ayoti contractors Oparanya choice of contractors by the way has been very good so I can assure you that this road will last more than 10 years just like the one that is in Huisero this one will have no potholes and villagers here will enjoy You also have a dormant dairy here okay the foundation has been set so it is just you to look for ways in, in which you can im improve this okay in short the next governor should simply pick up from where Oparanya left I don't think we have anything to blame the governor for this and neither should we blame anyone kama na maendeleo kweli oparanya amefanya in the southern kakamega we can confirm that now we just have to tell the next governor not to focus on the southern side the next governor should focus on the northern side i wish muende county zingine governor ajafanye kitu kila mahali everywhere the governor has done nothing but when you come to kakamega the south southern side has been improved the northern side kuna shida kidogo ndio kuna maendeleo kama hii barabara nyingi ndio waonyesha hii inaendelea so the next governor will simply take from here okay oparanya's time is over and it has been limited thank you for watching this and let's meet in the next analysis always stay tuned for such reviews only at legrand media